hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video I'm really excited I'm gonna do another haul or anti haul new makeup releases it's been a while since I did one of these videos but I thought I would get another one out for you this week there's just so many stuff so much stuff going on there's so much stuff that came out that I haven't talked about so we're gonna talk about it today I'm on Trend Moods page I just want to go over a few, a few things. <clears throat> so let me scoot on over for you here so I can pop up pictures right here for you. The first thing I'm going to talk about is from She Glam. And I mainly wanted to talk about this one because they're releasing a multi-chrome slash metallic party. It's called the new Chroma Zone Collection by She Glam. I really want to try this. Like, I want to try everything in this collection. Well, not everything. Like, the, they have these liquid shadows, I think they are. They have eyeshadow pal two eyeshadow palettes, it looks like. They're going to be $13 each, which $13 is a steal for multi-chromes, especially if it's a good one. I think they only have, like, one multi-chrome in each palette. But still, that's a really good deal for multi-chrome. Y'all have to let me know if you've tried anything from She Glam, if it's, like, worth the price if it's worth trying out if it's any good but it says there's eight shades with matte shimmer and multi chrome finishes one is called velocity velocity and the other one is called time warp i like both of them they both look absolutely stunning and it definitely looks like there's just like one multi chrome in each shade i just want to try it <laughs> There's a multi-chrome highlighter too for $6.50, which I totally want that. It shifts colors depending on the angle from pink to green to gold. I, I don't care, I want it. <laughs> now that is really cheap for a multi, multi-chrome highlighter. I paid like $30 for the one I have from Kaleidos. Because that was like the first one I've seen of its kind with a multi-chrome highlighter. So $6.50 is super cheap for a highlighter. There's also... Liquid eyeshadows for $5.50 a piece. It says use it on your lids alone as a saturated color or layer over your fave shadows. It's in Fool's Gold, Opal Essence, and Aqua Nova. And then there's the gel liners, which I'm very interested in those gel liners too. They're $3.50 a piece. It says the shades shift depending on how the light hits. Vertigo, Subliminal, and Zenith. And then there's even nail polishes. Nail polish is $3.50 a piece in Nebula and Retrograde. So, you have to let me know if you got these palettes down below. Is it worth the price? I mean, they both look very gorgeous. If you got the palettes and you got the highlight, please let me know down below if it's worth the price. Because I know this is already out and I'm... You... Even the... Nail polishes look freaking gorgeous. I'm not even into nail polish, but I'm looking at it like, mm hmm, maybe I should be. <laughs> maybe I should paint, take no, take time to paint my nails. Cause there's some gorgeous shades that you looks like you would only see from like Hollow Taco or something. Hmm. But let me know down below if you've picked up any of these, especially the eyeshadow palettes or the highlighter, if you've picked up either one of those and how it performs for you because I'm, I'm super curious. <laughs> this is new from Melt. It's the Mori and Mari Posas by Melt Cosmetics. It's a collection inspired by the comforting memories that find you after grieving a loved one loss, reminding you of the vibrancy of life. It includes eyeshadow palette, lipsticks, a mirror, brushes, and more. Yeah, there's like a blush palette in here and an eyeshadow palette. Honestly, the only things that appeal to me is the eyeshadow palette and the blush palette. It does have a cute mirror and the um the um gel pots, gel shadow pots look really cute. There's like a pink one. It looks like maybe an orange. It looks really pretty. The collection looks really pretty. <clears throat> but I'm not going to pick it up because it's expensive. It's expensive. It's already out. 
Y'all have to let me know if you picked up anything from that collection. I know that, like, to get the full collection, it was, like, $450. Or, it was some outrageous price. I thought it was expensive. I was like, what? <laughs> to get the whole collection, that's kind of expensive. I don't think I talked about this last time either. This is from Lunar Beauty. They have a new release that came out. It's already out. It's called The Outer Dimension. And it's just includes the outer dimension which is $49 it says it's creamy blendable neutral toned bronzing brightening powders that deliver radiance blurring with a long wear soft focus skin like finish with vitamin C and E to help improve skin's brightness and hydration it says you can get and there's also a new brush bundle which looks like face brushes to use with it for, and you can get the palette and the brush bundle for $55 there's a jewel lip gloss for 17, a divine lip gloss for 17, crystal kiss lip gloss for 17, and then the perfection liquid lip for 18. And it says outer dimension lip bundle is $55 for just the lips. And the face brush set on its own is $65. It says it comes with a foundation brush, a powder brush, a cheek brush, a cream brush, a fluffy face brush, dual end it brush, and a highlight brush. Y'all have to let me know if you picked out anything from this collection. I was super excited when I seen that he was having another release. And then I think I was kind of disappointed. I don't think I was kind of dis- I was. I was disappointed. I feel like this is for people who like to mix and match their bronzers and maybe for a makeup artist who does like different people's faces or something. But for like the everyday person, or maybe I'm just not the type of person who likes to go around on a palette and mix different colors to create bronzers and stuff. I would have rather him come out with bronzers like his highlight. Where's his highlight that I have here? Here he has these moon prism powder highlights i would have rather he come out with bronzer version to this and maybe instead of the compact being white maybe make it black or some other type of color same type of compact but do different bronzers you know why why do that and why not do that instead of doing and you just have different type of bronzers in here this feels super um luxurious and i just love the packaging on it and i think that would have went over this would have went over better than making like individual different bronzers than having a palette i feel like he did the palette just to be like easy and oh this will work on all shades but i'm not gonna pick it up it's the first release from luna beauty that i've seen that just didn't appeal to me so i didn't i'm not planning on picking it up I don't think I talked about this either. It's been so long since I've done these videos. I don't remember what I talked about. <laughs> but here we have from ColourPop. It is the Star Wars Collection Part 2. The new Mandalorian Collection. So this has a Mandalorian palette. There's um. They're re-promoting the first palette too. Because if you look at them together. They do look like great companion palettes. Which I already have the first palette. I absolutely love it. There's going to be a Luxe Lip Oil Duo and a makeup bag and the mirror. I did pick up the palette and I got the mirror. The mirror, I think, was a ridiculous price. It was like $12. I think it was too expensive for the mirror. But I wanted the mirror. I was like, you know, I've been collecting all the mirrors. I have all the mirrors here. <laughs> I have all, literally, I have all the ColourPop mirrors that they've released. I have them all. <laughs> I haven't missed any of them. But I'm probably going to start missing them here soon. Anyways, I just got the Mandalorian palette and I did get the mirror. Which today is the 23rd and it finally says it's out for delivery. So <laughs> I'm supposed to get it today. ColourPop shipping has been terrible re recently. And I'm just, uh, I just wasn't interested in the Luxe Lip Oils. For me, it's like, why even do colors, different colors in that, if you're not going to make it pigmented enough to see the different colors on your lips? So there's two different colors, but they both look, they're going to look clear on your lips. <laughs> so that just didn't interest me. 
I didn't think the makeup bag was all that interesting either. So I just picked up the eyeshadow palette and the mirror because the collector in me needs it all. Okay, next I want to talk about this from Tarte. It is the new Tartlet um, Full Bloom. They added more to their Bloom collection. So now they have a Tartlet Full Bloom palette, which is the Amazonian Clay Formula 2. It's $52. It comes with 28 new rosy plum and bronze neutrals. And there's also going to be an Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush and Bloom for $29, which is going to be a soft coral. And there's a Full Bloom Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara for $24. That's just their normal mascara with the cute packaging. <laughs> they always do that. I see a lot of people knocking this Tartlet Full Bloom palette, but I ain't gonna lie, I kind of want it. <laughs> I would, if I had money, I would pick this up. I just love the rosy, plummy shades in here. I feel like this looks nothing like the Tartlet and Bloom palette. Because when I look at the Tartlet and Bloom palette, I don't see rosy and plummy shades. I just see the bronzy neutrals in that palette. I don't notice anything rosy or plummy about it. So, this one just has so many of those gorgeous, rosy, plummy, mauve neutrals that you know I love. So, that's the only reason I want it. And I do like the blush, too. So, if I had money, I would get the palette and the blush. Even though $52 is expensive. I think it's on, they're having, like, a sale right now on Tarte's website. And you can use a code to get it cheaper. It's, like, 20% off? 15 or 20% off, I want to say. Anyways, it brings it down in price to like 30 something dollars instead of 52. I seen that the other day when I was looking. But yeah, you have to let me know what y'all think about this palette. Do you think what everybody else thinks that didn't need to be done? <laughs> but I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ain't it? it looks cute. It looks cute. <laughs> Here we have another release from ColourPop I thought I would go ahead and talk about. This is the, the Holiday 2021 Roaring Hearts Collection. I thought this looked super unique. Even the palette layout is super unique. They haven't done these palettes before that looks like this. They haven't done the 10, 10 shadow palettes before. I like the shape of this palette. It looks really nice. Um, <clears throat> and it's a neutral. So if you like neutrals, you probably like this. I didn't pick up anything in this collection. I want them to do matte lipsticks. <laughs> I want them to do matte liquid lipsticks. Like this collection is the Fresh Kiss Lip Lacquer. Which is supposed to be like between a cream and a gloss. So it's supposed to be like a pigmented gloss. I think is how they described it. There's even the Graphics Ink Liners and Party Crush. Which is a rose gold, had to be you, which is gold, and loveful, which is black. And I think those are new for them. They're in these little pots. It's the ones that you twirl up and it has like a little brush on the end. Um, they also have the flapper lashes. And then there's Super Shock Duos. Two Super Shock Duos. Fancy Feathers, which comes with Deco Days and Avant Garde. And then Oh That Jazz, which comes with Jen Ricky and Golden Age. And then there's the new Luster Dust, the ColourPop, and it's a loose um, highlighter. One is in In the Grove, which is a champagne, and then there's Charleston, which is a rose gold collection. I didn't pick anything up, if anything. Probably the only thing would, I would have been curious about is maybe the loose highlight, because that's new for them. I did think that the Super Shocks looked really pretty in the collection. But you know me, I'm not too into neutral palettes, but they even had a black ultra glitter super shock. So I'm very curious about that one, but I didn't pick it up. Next we have from Bessemer Cosmetics, it is the very last, the 12th and last princess from the princess collection. But I'm so glad this is the last one because I'm tired of these things already. I'm tired of them. I heard the highlighter wasn't even all that good in these. I feel like I already talked about this. I have to go back. I have to go back and look at my um, previous videos to see if I talked about this. But if I did, oops, I did it again. 
It's been a while since I did one of these videos, so I didn't think about it. But all I have to say is I'm glad this is the last one. I'm tired of seeing these. It's too expensive for what it is. I even heard that the highlighting powder in it was not very good at all. So, glad that's over. Here, I want to talk about this. This is from um, Oma by Sharon C. Um, and Walmart added some new products to their line, which is the Oma's... Um, drugstore line for Walmart which I love this I have the foundation the foundation is really good I haven't tried anything else though they have the one and done complete brow styler for $8.48 it's a smudge proof water resistant duo styler with a precision pencil to create hair like strokes boatable long lasting plus a strong hold and set and go brow gel in eight shades that one I'll be interested to try because I'm going to need, once I run out of the brow pencil I have now, I'm going to need another brow pencil. So I'm interested to try that one. And that one will probably be the one that I pick up to try once I run out of the one I'm using now. They also have the Lips Don't Lie Lipstick for $7.48. It's a highly pigmented satin matte lipstick. Goes on like a cream and never dries out your lips with a white clay to boost the daringly matte finish comes in six shades I don't know that sounds interesting too I feel like I'm gonna want to try these <laughs> especially the lipsticks I see one shade that I like in the lipsticks I'm sure there's gonna be like some neutral shade I'll like next they have floss gloss which is 748 says it's a high shine balm like gloss plant based creamy comfortable non sticky rich in hydrating emollients to restore and care for the lips, formulated with castor oil and sunflower oil, hyaluronic acid, and which would porcula pelosa <laughs> extract and biometric triopide that help plump and smooth in the lips. Sure. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> they have the Primped to Glow Illuminating Prep, which is going to be 9.48. It's enriched with energizing maca root vitamin E to boost luminosity with a gel mousse texture that combines the freshness of water more than 70% with the cushion-like nourishment of a cream. Radiant Pearl helps to minimize skin imperfections and optimize skin tone. That sounds interesting. I would be interested to try the primer too. I'm not sure about the gloss. <laughs> I want to try the lipsticks. There's this one like a pinky shade that I would like. And I definitely want to try the brow pencils. I think I want to try the brow pencils. It comes with the brow pencil on one side and the gel on the other. I would definitely want to try that when I run out of my brow pencil. So there's definitely a couple of things I want to pick up from that collection. And you might see it eventually used on my channel in a new makeup or something video. Next we have this from Laura Lee. It's available now. It's the new blush aesthetic palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I want this. I'll tell you that right now. And I think it's a great price. So... It looks gorgeous. It's a pressed powder cheek palette with eight matte and shimmer shades. Only $28 for this. And you get so many shades. I think that's a great price. There's Golden Haze, which is a gold shimmer with undertone hints of rose gold. Then there's a Bridal Pink, which is a matte nude pink. Strawberry Ice Cream, which is a matte pink red. Chateau Rose, which is a matte soft pink. Peach Fuzz, which is a matte peach. Caramel Cream, which is a matte deep mauve. Tiger Lily, which is a matte classic pink. And Sangria, which is a matte plum red. I think this palette looks gorgeous. I really want this palette. It's only $28, which I think is a great, it's a great price for it. Uh, just give it to me now. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever pick it up, but maybe I'll pick it up eventually when I have money. But I definitely want it. I think it looks gorgeous. Guess I might as well talk about this since everybody else was talking about it. Here we have um, Harry Styles came out with his, uh, I guess it's a beauty brand. <laughs> I don't know. It's called Pleasing. I don't like the name of it. <laughs> it's got nail polish in it, of course, because he's known for wearing his nail polish. 
and I think it's expensive. You can get the set for $65, but then they're like $20 a piece. There's a perfect pearl polish for $20, and then you have the pearly tops polish for $20. There's even a black shade. It looks like a pink. One looks like more of a creamy, nudie shade, and the other one looks white. <laughs> then there's even skincare in the line. There's a pearlescent illuminating serum for $35. Which looks like a bunch of pearls. I don't know if it's like suspended in liquid or what. But it looks a little weird. Looks a little weird. I'm not going to say. And then there's a pleasing pen. And I, when I seen pleasing pen I was like. What is what is that? It sounds dirty. And it's $30. It says with the cooling steel rollers to refresh the lips and eyes. One side is an eye gel with a natural lingonberry. Okra and Hyaluronic Salt Awakens Tire. So my camera cut off with me. So <laughs> it says that it, the salt, <laughs> Hyaluronic Salt Awakens Tired Under Eyes and helps diminish signs of aging. Hydrates and the other side is a demi matte lip treatment with soothing marshmallow to replenish lips. So there's going to be, looks like there's going to be nail stickers and merch soon too. Says uh, Shremud says she will confirm it later. Eh, <laughs> I'm not interested. It doesn't interest me. I I mean I like some of Harry Styles' music, but I'm not like a super fan who's gonna be like, I need this. No, that's not me. <laughs> Here we have something new from the drugstore. It is Maybelline, has new products out. There's a new Lash Sensational Sky High Cosmic Black Mascara. I don't, I'm not sure what makes this different from the normal one. Is it more black? Is there sparkles in with it? <laughs> Why is it called Cosmic Black? I don't know. It says it delivers full volume and limitless length with the Flex Tire Brush that bends to extend every single lash from root to tip. Soft, lightweight lashes with no flaking or smudging, infused with bamboo extract and fibers for long, full lashes. It sounds the same as their Sky High mascara, except for I feel like their Sky High mascara doesn't have fibers in it. So maybe that's what's different. <laughs> also, there's going to be the Super Stay Active Wear Liquid Concealer. So they have a new concealer coming out that's going to go with their Super Stay um, foundation that they have. And it's going to be $11.99. I hope there's more shades than what they're showing in this picture I'm looking at because that is a sad, 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 sad concealer shade range. And it doesn't say here how many shades are in the range. Oh, maybe, oh, there's only 11 shades. That's a sad, sad, sad concealer range, especially since it says it's matte, full coverage, lightweight, and delivers up to 30 hours of wear, wipes out dark circles and imperfections, transfer-resistant formula, provides a second skin a feel, and has ergonomic comfort curve flex applicator in 11 shades. Maybelline is a huge beauty brand, a huge drugstore beauty brand. They can afford more than 11 shades of concealer. So I feel like that's not enough concealer to reach across multiple skin tones. It's not showing all. Then this picture is all 11 shades. There's not even a shade for deep, really deep skin tones in here. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to try this out or not because there's just not enough shades for every skin tone. So I'll probably skip out on that one. Next they have um, a Super Stay Matte Ink a Birthday Edition. Liquid Lips, I do love their Super Stay Matte Ink um, Lipsticks. They're for $9.49. It's this limited edition birthday cake scented that lasts up to 16 hours with a matte finish. They're not lying. You're going to have to scrub these lips off at the end of the night. And one of them is called Guest of Honor. And the other is called Party Goer. And looking at the shades up above, I want them both. And I'm probably going to look and see if I can find them in my Walmart 
Irma Target or whoever Maybelline is sold. I'm probably going to look for these because they look like shades that I would really love. And I don't care what anybody says. I love those Superstay Matte Inks. I know some people don't like them. They are a little sticky, but I feel like they don't dry your lips out. They don't dry my lips out anyways. And they last all night long. They don't transfer onto your mask. So the only thing that I would be interested in is the MAC Liquid Lipsticks. And before my battery dies, because it's on the verge of dying, it's flashing at me and saying it's going to die soon. So the last thing we're going to talk about right here is the ColourPop and Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer Collection. I'm already having FOMO. It already came out. The PR set sold out. The cute little reindeer have the... It has the uh, is the Nightmare Before Christmas collection or ornaments, so you can hang them on your tree. I wanted this dang collection, and I don't have the money for it. <laughs> so this is gonna be me complaining the whole time about it. Y'all have to let me know if you got this collection down below. But there's the eyeshadow palette, which I think very Christmassy. It has reds, it has greens, it has neutrals, so you can create like a neutral glam look if you want, or you can go for a red and green Christmassy look if you want. There was even those cute little antler <sighs> hair clips that I wanted. There was a lip mask duo with a scrub and a lip mask that I did still wanted. There was a soul body highlight that I wanted. The only thing I didn't care for was the Luxe glosses because they don't have enough pigment for me to like them. <laughs> but I did want the lipsticks. Well, at least the nude lipstick. The red one I don't care for because it wasn't a matte lipstick either. It did come with, with a Bumble um, Mega Mood Cool Melt Bath Soak, but we don't have a bath here for me to soak in, so I wouldn't have gotten that, even though I do love Bumble too. But I did love watching Rudolph the Red Nose Ring. So, I'm on my phone right now, but my camera died when I was in the middle of talking about Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. So I grew up watching Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. I have a love for Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. I don't care what anybody says. I, I still wanted that palette. I was praying that the palette would go to Ulta Beauty. Because I have some Ulta Beauty points that I could have used. Reward points I could have used to get at least the palette. I don't know what these people are doing in my building. <laughs> I had Ulta Beauty points that I could use to at least got in the palette. And so it was killing me that it kept saying just available on ColourPop.com. I think it would have sold better. Maybe it'll go to stores if it doesn't sell on, you know, sell out on ColourPop.com. The only thing I know that sold out was the PR set. And I think it only sold out in the PR set was to get the PR box, which is very cute too. But... <sighs> I still, I want it. I wish it was going to Ulta Beauty so I could at least get the palette to get some palette. It's so cute. Everything's so cute. The hair clips are so cute. I literally watched every person's video that um, I follow that did videos on it. I watched all the videos on it and I was living vicariously through them as they were wearing the little hair clips and <laughs> trying out the palette. <sighs> Sucks when you have no money. Hopefully next year will be better. <laughs> but anyways, that's it for this video today. That's the last thing I'm talking about because my battery died on my camera. And now I'm using my phone to film. And I usually look at the releases on my phone ever since I got it. Ever since I got a camera. And I guess I just need to invest in a backup battery because this batteries died pretty fast in these cameras. No wonder people have more than one battery. <laughs> But, um, anyways, that's my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my my thoughts on the newer releases that came out that I haven't talked about yet. I didn't get to go through all of them. Maybe I can do the rest of them next week on my video. Hopefully, not too much more will come out. But, yeah, that's my video today. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you're not yet subscribed, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And next to the subscribe button is the bell. You can ring that bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. 
That way you don't miss out on any of my haul or anti-haul videos. And I hope you guys are having a great day, night, weekend, whenever it is you're watching this. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.